Hello and welcome to Screw Loops and today we are here in this, oh my god is this stunning? We're at Warner Bros World in Abu Dhabi which is located on Yaz Island along with Ferrari World and Yaz Water Park. Oh my god, we're only here for the night, we've we came, it's about 5.30, we've got till 9pm so we're going to try and go on everything uh, as quick as we can. But I'm just taking this in for the time being, that looks really nice. Best, best looking indoor area of a cinema lot, that looks like real sky. We're going to head to Metropolis, which is that way, so you've got all your favourite kind of DC guys like Superman, stuff like that, it's going to be quite cool, so let's do this. What? Honestly, this is insane. So this is stunning, what do you think Rach? It's definitely. <laughs> this is really, really impressive. So another thing about this park as well, it's brand new, I believe it opened, I think it was last year and I have no idea what to expect because there has been very little vlogs on it so far um, so I haven't really seen much I thought, like looking at this now, it's like I've never seen it, it's unbelievable I don't know, what, where are we going? Here We're going here, so it's just, just <laughs> is this, that's a shop What's this? This looks huge so, Hall of Justice. Hall of Justice. Let's have a, have a look at this. So I'm going to do Justice League War World Attacks. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This is insane. That is beautiful. <laughs> This is really something. There he is, Batman. Who's your favourite, Rach? Aquaman, just because I watched it on the plane. Where's Aquaman? Is he here? Oh, there he is. There's Aquaman. This. Oh, I have to say, this is one of the best theme parks I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Right, let's check this out. Let's do it. That was amazing. What are you saying? Yeah, that was just a bit of a That was, honestly, that is how you do a trackless, screen based kind of attraction. It's inside. 3D was stunning. The quality of the screens, it was like, honestly, it was like 4K 60 FPS. It, it looked that sharp. It was brilliant. And then um, we're going to check this out next, I think, if, if the timing's right. So we didn't time it very well last time. Mate. It's every like, half an hour or so. So let's find out. I know I'll keep banging on about it, but this park is stunning. Like, it's, it's hard to imagine this is indoors right now, because the way they've, they've done the sky, it, it's so, so good. So immersive. We're going to check out Green Lantern because there is still a bit of a wait on there, the one down there. So this is Green Lantern, Galactic Odyssey. Let's do this. Why? This is like a, this is like a hotel. This is this is a cute This is crazy. Excited. <laughs> that was like flight of passage all over again. That was unbelievable. I felt like I was going to get eaten at one point. Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. I, I, I've got, honestly, what the hell, where's this been all my life? It's brilliant man, honestly, oh, excellent. It's, it's a soaring star ride, but cranked up to a thousand, it's brilliant. Like it's hard to, you know, it's all right me saying this, but you need to experience it. You've got to come down here and experience that. It is a 10 out of 10 ride. We are in Gotham City now. Oh my, oh jeez. <laughs> that is like the best theme, like disco I've ever seen on that one. <laughs> is that the best? That is crazy. Very good question. I wouldn't tell even if I knew. 
this is how you film any flat ride. This is unbelievable. Honestly, like it probably doesn't capture it as well on camera, but the lighting effects in here and smoke effects. There's like UV as well, which is really cool. I'm so hyped for this. Let's go. man for a disco it is amazing like honestly I had a moment uh, on there I actually thought you know what this is the next generation of theme parks this is this is phenomenal honestly really really good I wonder if the joke is fun this is open oh I'm buzzing for that that's gonna be sick let's do it Good man, so much fun. Uh, got to remember the one at Fantasia Land, the fun out. It was just that level of detail, and just it's just a laugh all the way around. Really good. And there's a cool little slide at the end which you have, you have to get out and you go fast. Well, 
not like super fast, right, Formula Ross is but fast. Right, we're gonna try and find Batman. There's apparently a Batman ride around here, so find it. This one is Batman Night Flight. Look at this, impressive. Wayne Tech. So this is gonna be another dark ride. Batmobile. I like Batman, he's one of the cooler DC heroes a year ago. Apart from when uh, George Clooney did him. <laughs> nah, he's still pretty cool then. But... Look at this man. This place just keeps getting better and better. So we just did Batman. I had no idea what it was. Turned out to be a similar kind of ride to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. It was really, really well done. As well done as the one in Universal, to be honest. I thought it was really good. It's not as wild, but some people might think that's a good thing because I've heard a lot of people come off the Forbidden Journey feeling a bit sick. I didn't feel sick at all off Batman. I thought Batman was great. Uh, so there was presented Cartoon Junction. <laughs> this is cool, look at the sky. Yeah boy, so we've got some cloudy skies. Well, Annie Mayhem, let's have a go at this. Wow. You can tell how near this path is, it's really, really good. Shooter, Dark Ride, 3D. Man, it was good. It was another Odyssey. This, every ride at this park's been solid so far. Um, what I can compare it to the most really is uh, what at Fantasia Land, the Morsty Chocolate. Very similar to that, except these guns are a bit more comfy. I don't like pulling the rope on that. Uh, but it captured the charm of Warner Brothers, all the classic animation really well. All, all your classic characters are there, you'll love it. I'm talking about classic characters, oh, Tom and Jerry. Scooby Doo Museum of Mysteries. Ooh, spooky. Look who it is. Shaggy and Scooby themselves, the mystery machine. Ah, so look at this bad boy. Have you ever watched that Scooby Doo movie where they had that theme park? Yeah. Remember? Why can't that be a reality? I reckon, you know, is is something for you, Warner Bros. World. Do a Scooby Doo land with a the theme part of that film. It'll be unreal. I'm liking this. That's cool. Oh, man. That's really cool. I'm guessing this could be some kind of ghost train ride. Just Scooby Doo. Bro. Mystery Machines, let's do this. Another really good trackless dark ride that, similar to Anime but it's more of a ghost train kind of thing this time. Um, it's really good because it took us on like how many different routes? Like, yeah, yeah. Because some person in front went right, we went left, and then all of a sudden we met up with someone else, and then it's really weird, it's really clever how they've done that. I thought it was brilliant. I spy a roller coaster though. Look at that, suspended coaster Tom there. Tom and Jerry are over there. Tom and Jerry? Yeah. So we just realised um, <laughs> we still haven't done Tom and Jerry's Swiss cheese spin. So we're going to do that first before we go into that area. Let's check this out. It's my mum's house. <laughs> oh, okay. Going the wrong way. Around the side of the garden. Your trusted source for music all day. What a mess! What a mess! It's foot fudge been in the fridge. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> Say sorry to Andrew. <laughs> wow. I'll 
just really chuffed with how much fame in there is, that's pretty cool. Man. Right, Swiss cheese spin. Tom and Jerry Swiss cheese spin. Pretty good. It was a, I had to check what it was, it was a Zamperla spinning coaster and uh, the theming was really well done. Some quite forceful moments, not quite as forceful as Spider-Man in IMG, uh, but it's definitely more spinny. There's a lot of spinning on it, it's kind of made me feel a bit queasy you now, but not too bad. We're just in. The other end, is this the Flintstones there? Hang on, where am I? No, we are. Both the Flintstones, that's obviously like... There we go, we've got another roller coaster. This is the suspended coaster. Fast and Furious. So I just had a check of this one as well. This is actually an Intamin suspended coaster, family suspended. I didn't actually know they did these. I'm sure it's not their kind of take on the Vakama family coasters unless they did do one before. <laughs> You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen an Intamin suspended uh, family coaster like this uh, yet, anyway. Nice. Nice canyons. Sorry about the folks, the light keeps sending this nuts. Family coaster. Sneaky. Yeah, it's um, it's a lot like the Vicoma ones actually. It's got like nice bits of force in certain places. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I really so. It's, it's enjoyable. Really nice theme in the lift still. Some really cool sounds as well towards the end. It's like gotta get the station. Pretty cool. But yeah, good. What do you reckon, man? the spinny one so far but yeah I'm just gonna check a bit more out to where we're gonna end up. Who knows? We're just entering bedrock home of the Flintstones. Oh that's not oh there's a little water right here. Do you wanna get wet? <laughs> that's really nice. It's like um People are going to draw obvious comparisons to like Disney parks and Universal parks. I mean, we have because those are the kind of rides that they're going for here. But they truly made uh, made it their own. It feels like a Warner Brothers park. It doesn't feel like a Disney park or a Universal park. It feels like a Warner Brothers park, a one of a kind. And honestly, I'd put it up there with Disney and Universal. This park is stunning. It really is. 
I'd love to see one of these in the UK. Like, if we brought a, an indoor theme park to the UK, get out the rain a bit, you know what I mean? This kind of level of theming, just a family park, nothing major. I think it'd be brilliant. I'd love it. I really would.
incredible way to end the day. What a show. Oh, honestly, like, I've heard a lot about it, but seeing it in person, it's unbelievable. I don't think even the video I've got on the camera does it justice, because it just happens all around you. It's really immersive. And um, especially to do with Harry Potter, I love that bit. That was amazing. Right, so that's it for today. Um, we, well, we're not going home. We're going to the hotel, so... I want to come back soon, man. It's such a good park. It's such an amazing park. Oh, I'll tell you about it in a sec. I just want to say a massive thanks to Warner Bros World and Guest Relations for everything they've done for us today. I mean, it's been an incredible top day and I want to say a massive thanks to this because it kind of saved our lives because we didn't get here until like 5 o'clock. Um, and to be fair, we managed to do everything. So I highly recommend one of these. So, ride of the day for me is Green Lantern, because it is amazing. How about you? Green Lantern or Batman? Batman. Batman was good as well, and that Superman one, feels like the, the Hall of Heroes. In the Hall of Heroes, feels like the first one. The first one we did, <laughs> that was really good as well. But anyways, um, best park so far in this trip. the bar that is next generation of theme parks theming unbelievable rides unbelievable it really is a great park anyway so latest video here random video here hit the magic button over here for the ride of your life that's all folks <laughs>